Welcome to this edition of Parent Quick Smarts, third grade, unit four, two dimensional shapes. In this unit of study, students will identify attributes of polygons and figures, classify and name polygons, including quadrilaterals, and categorize and compare polygons, including quadrilaterals. Your child worked with polygons and other figures in kindergarten, first grade, and second grade. In third grade, they may use their own words to describe the attributes of a polygon. A task such as this will allow children to identify if a figure is a polygon or not. Looking at the examples and non-examples, a student may describe a polygon as being closed, flat, and made of only straight sides. It is important for children to develop their own descriptions of geometric terms and not simply be given definitions. Your child will focus on identifying attributes of figures and shapes before naming them. This first figure is not flat. Looking at this figure, they might say it is flat and made of straight line segments, but not all the line segments meet at endpoints, and it is also open. This next figure is flat, it is closed, and made of only line segments. They may even identify it as a polygon. This figure is closed, but it has curves. It is not a polygon. Finally, we see a figure that is closed, made of four line segments, and has four vertices or angles. This is another example of a polygon. After working with polygons, your child will focus on classifying shapes by the number of sides and angles. They may sort shapes focusing on these attributes. Five sides and five vertices, four sides and four vertices, six sides and six vertices, and on. Upon sorting, your child will learn that shapes sharing similar attributes fit into certain categories and have names. Polygons with three sides and three vertices are named triangles. Quadrilaterals have four sides and four vertices. Pentagons, hexagons, and octagons name polygons with five, six, and eight sides and vertices. Additional attributes can then be identified, including congruent sides, right angles, and parallel sides to further classify polygons. Your child will work extensively with quadrilaterals. They will use attributes to sort, classify, and name quadrilaterals. All of the quadrilaterals on this slide have two pairs of congruent sides, or sides of equal length. What is special about the purple shapes? That's right, all four sides are congruent. Your child will also look for right angles in shapes. Third graders do not have to measure angles. The only angle your child will need to know in third grade is a right angle. Some children may even name these square angles. All of these quadrilaterals have right angles. What did the blue and purple shapes have in common? All of their angles are right angles. Your child will look for the attribute of parallel sides as well. Two line segments are parallel if they can be extended but will never meet. All of these shapes have at least one pair of parallel sides. Can you identify which quadrilaterals have two pairs of parallel sides? That's right, all the shapes except for the yellow shapes. In kindergarten, and perhaps even before your child entered school, they may have learned to identify names of shapes based on how they look. You will often hear a young child say, this shape is a square, 
but that this shape is not a square because it is tilted. You might even hear a young child say this shape looks like a stretched out square. In third grade, your child will use attributes to name shapes, especially quadrilaterals. For example, quadrilaterals with two pairs of parallel sides are called parallelograms. Quadrilaterals with four right angles are called rectangles. And quadrilaterals with four congruent sides are called rhombuses. Your child will explore similarities and differences between different categories of shapes. For example, this task asks to identify the common attributes between a square and a trapezoid. One way your child will explore this concept is through the use of a Venn diagram. With this Venn diagram, all shapes in the blue circle share the same attributes. Four right angles. Shapes in the red circle share the same attributes. Four congruent sides. And shapes in the common area have attributes of both circles. All shapes in the blue circle can be named rectangles, while all shapes in the red circle can be named rhombuses or rhombi. What do you notice about the shapes in the middle? That's right, they are squares. A square has both the attributes of a rectangle and a rhombus. One challenge your child may face is noticing that shapes may fit into more than one category and therefore have more than one name. Let's compare this idea to a picture. The first name that comes to mind is probably dog. Not only could this animal be called a dog, but it also falls into the category of Chihuahua, Mammal, or even Louie. Thus, this animal could have more than one name, although he probably will not respond if you call him Mammal. Let's name this shape. We can categorize it as a polygon, or a quadrilateral, a parallelogram, a rectangle, a rhombus, and ultimately a square. Your child will also notice that the orientation of a shape does not change its category. This is still a square. Questions to ask your child to help support their understanding in this unit could include can you find any polygons? How do you know it is a polygon? How are these two shapes different? What attributes do they have in common? What are all the names you could have for this shape? How do you know this shape is a polygon? Connections to help your child identify geometry topics in their lives include looking for examples of shapes and objects, such as these houses, and looking for attributes of real life shapes, such as these children looking for parallel lines. To continue to work together to support your child in mathematics, please be sure to keep in communication with your child's teacher. You may also utilize the resources available on thinkcentral.com and be sure to visit the district's math webpage. See you next episode.